there's only five. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're they're the flight feathers. Yeah. Sharp little legs. Her carrots are all doing quite well. This is very new late, it's only down there about a week or so. Celery is well, well good and we're really enjoying it. Red cabbage never really took off all that great, I don't know why. The heads never became big like you would expect them to. Our aubergines here seem to be doing really well. Cabbage, we've had some problems with um, slugs. Also we've had a problem with the cabbage sort of going slimy in the middle. I don't know what it is. That looks kind of dry now. These are leeks. Leeks which will go into the outside beds sometime in the near future. These are some coriander seeds that are germinated. And they look a bit dry actually. Uh, this is some lettuce that I germinated here that we will put down into the lettuce bed as soon as they're big enough. Strawberries are still producing fruit, so we're gonna getting fruit off them now for weeks. And this is another runner bean plant here. We almost have a kind of an archway of runner bean here now. I'm sure the two, those two plants are gonna meet up very soon. Shallots and red onions, uh, more strawberries red onions and our cucumbers took a long time to start coming out but now that they are coming they seem to be kind of coming in their droves there's lots of them aloe vera there here we managed to germinate a few parsnips which are incredibly hard to germinate but anyway we have a couple of parsnips coming up here dwarf french beans these are fantastic we're getting beans off these every day we have them outside as well as inside and they're producing just loads of beans these are really good and we'd certainly do these again. Chili peppers, I think these things are called bell peppers. Our tomatoes are flying, there's a lot of tomatoes. We are actually now looking at our first tomatoes ripening. Can't wait to eat these. Um, we'll let them ripen another bit first. The ducks and the chickens are being fed on organic uh, protein pellets and crushed wheat. So it's like a mixture of those two things. Our potatoes have been badly affected by blight. There's some green leaves, but most of the leaves here have been are shriveled up. And the whole crop, the whole crop has been affected by blight. Hens are waiting here. I want to collect some eggs there now. On average we get three eggs a day, but uh, yesterday we only got two, so there might be four there today, I don't know. And uh, I don't know, there is actually, yeah, okay, there's four today. They roost in this place here. The three of them sit, sit, they stand on that roosting bar there, the three of them side by side. And as I say, they go into the laying boxes there to lay their eggs. You do also end up gathering a lot of hen shit, uh, which is great manure. This is a little treat for the hens, uh, super mixed corn with added calcium and grit. Uh, they like it in their feeder. They also love it if you throw some here in the, in the gravel. Our bucket of hen shit here will be added to the new raised beds that are going in in this area here to grow our, our winter crops. The ducks are now being fed um, at this bulk feeder here, it means you don't have to come down here three times a day. You just come down here and add a 20 or 25 kilo mixture of, um, of protein pellets and, and crushed wheat. So it's actually empty. I think this is, a lot of this is to do with the fact that we're feeding the local crow population as well as our ducks. 
The ducks love rooting there for snails and worms and anything they can get. When the pond is filling, it overflows uh, onto the far side there and they, as you can see there now, they just, they love rooting in there. <laughs> 